this is just going to be a short video. So tonight, I got a thousand of these TUPRW 12 watts clear. And um, they're generally used for two and three quarter inch rounds. But we're going to use them in some clear chadites and test tomorrow and see how they pattern. I think they're going to do great. But I don't know that. But we're going to find out. Ain't but one way to find out. Especially since some reason everybody is fascinated with this pink buckshot all of a sudden. I've been loading pink buckshot for years and nobody really <laughs> seemed that interested in it. But now they are. Okay. Anyhow, it's the same data we always use, guys. 28 and a half long shot because it's going to be the same load. It's going to be 14 pellets. I put that two and three quarter inch wad down in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. I think it's going to work out great, folks, because it's only one row over top of the wad. And they're clear so everybody can see they're pretty buckshot. But pretty don't make it shoot good. So let's see what we can do with it. I quit throwing all my buffer and everything everywhere. Yep, you, you can see your pink buckshot pretty good in there. 14 pellets, double off. Oh, I got my thing set up for three and a halves. I was loading them all day. Alright, now we're ready. Three inch, 14 pellet. Pink double hot buckshot. It's still pink. My wife said she even liked the pink buckshot. And we've been married over 20 years and she ain't never thought any of my buckshot was pretty. So it must be something to the pink. One, well, forgot to put my... All right, guys, when I use that card, the same thing as you do with any of the TPS except the cushion wad, I put an eighth inch 20 gauge nitro card in the bottom of it that keeps you from blowing out the seal tamp it down in there tight you definitely want your pattern you want it tight down on your pattern all right let's do it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen yep Coming up one row above above the wad, you can see it clearly there without the buffer on it. We're gonna test these out tomorrow and see how they do. Because this, not everybody's gun shoots that T, uh, TPS cushion wad, but so good. And that's the reason I was doing this, because this one generally shoots good. The three inch version does anyway just about any kind of gun. TPS White Lightning certainly does. There's another one. 14 pellets. Pink double all buckshot. <laughs> it's certainly different looking, that's for sure. I don't know why I'm making so many because I don't know what they're going to do. So I shouldn't even be loading many. But I got a good feeling about it. Like I said, we'll shoot them tomorrow. We're going to shoot these tomorrow, and y'all seen how good that double alt, if you watched my previous videos, the 14 pellet double alt did with um, 32 cal uh, double alt buckshot. Well, I loaded some in a, in a uh, MG42 like it done last time, but I done it with 16 pellets of 31 cal single alt. We're going to shoot them too to see what they do tomorrow. All right, back to what I was doing. 14 pellets again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Stack coming up perfect every time, guys. So, this wad, a little thicker than the TPS White Lightning. A little beefier. But, if it works good, who cares what it looks like. That's how quick the folks y'all can make your own buckshot. There's three three inch 14 pellet double alls I just made while I'm sitting here rambling on and talking about nothing. All right, later.